Hey guys, Sony Photography here. So today I wanted to make a review video on a headrest mount. It is by a company called Cruise Cam. As you know, I've been using this in multiple videos already and it's been super useful to me. So the name of this mount is uh, Cruise Cam Short Bar Headrest Mount. It's a mount for uh, cameras. It has like a universal screw. It supports cameras up to five pounds. So it might not be able to support like a full DSLR with like a really heavy lens. It's perfect for my camera, A6300 and it would be perfect for something like a Sony RX100. So make sure you check the weight of your camera and your lens before mounting it on top of this mount because um, you don't want to you know, damage your camera if it falls out. So like the name suggests, this is a headrest mount and it mounts to the headrest and it mounts cameras. I'm going to show you how it mounts to the headrest. It has two sliders. Uh, they do make like a lot of noise. You could put some, I don't know, some grease there maybe to make it slide a little bit smoother. All right, so it goes around the headrest like this. It has like these clips to hold the headrest and you just screw it in. So once you adjust and securely mount it, this will stay there pretty securely. As you can see, it's pretty secure. It doesn't move. It kind of gives like a perspective of a person who's sitting in the back seat and like leaning forward. It's really good for like driving shot. You can use it for multiple purposes. Obviously having a wider lens would be perfect for this camera. And uh, that's one of the many reasons that I got this lens that I'm shooting on, the Semiang 12 millimeter f 2.0. But you can do whatever you want with it. You could always, you know, go for a more narrow focal point and give like a more isolated view. It all depends on your you know, creativity and what you want to create. Uh, as I said earlier, this one has a universal tripod mount. And you can mount pretty much any camera or any other gear that you want. This could be like one of your cameras or you can put like a microphone here. From this viewpoint, I can grab like the sound of the exhaust really nice and also speak at the same time. Also, the mount is very easy to adjust. You can adjust like the height. Also, you can adjust the height by raising the headrest. You can lean the seat forward back you can also raise the seat and you can also adjust like the angle of the camera let's say your camera is looking too far high you can loosen this up and then adjust the angle so you can have it look a little bit lower if you have a wide angle lens look down or if you want to zoom into something in the instrument cluster and you know get a detailed uh, tight perspective then you can adjust it like this there's also another adjustment point at the bottom here this one allows the, the mount to move throughout. You know, you can move it left or right here. I usually keep it very far to the left. You know, ha having so many different uh, adjustability features, you might think that it might be less stable and not reliable, but that is completely wrong. So far, I've taken to Skyline Drive in Shenandoah Valley. Uh, me and my friends took pretty like tight turns. There were a few points I braked really hard. I almost had to slam on the brake. So this definitely held up really well after using it at, at the Skyline Drive. It really inspired a lot of confidence in me. I'll put it to a proper test once I go to a you know an autocross event or you know a track event. So so far I've used this mount with the kit lens and the Samyang. The kit lens was good, but it wouldn't give like a full perspective of the driver. Um, with this Samyang, you could see the steering wheel, pretty much like the whole view of the you know the interior of the car and it gives a much more immersive feeling use of this mount is not limited to you know you know racing applications you could use it for a bunch of different things you could create time lapses of your road trips uh, you can make long exposure shots uh, that make them look really cool and also give me a thumbs up if you want to see a video on how to make those kinds of shots and you can just make in-car vlog videos and you can just talk and as you're driving, you could, you know, the viewers can see the the road that you're driving on. You know, usually like if you see other in-car vlogs, the cameras usually are like in the other side and you can't really see the road. You, you know, you're stuck seeing the, the, the speaker, which is fine. But, you know, this kind of gives a different perspective. You can also have both. You can have one camera there and one camera here and, you know, have do have like a picture-in-picture -picture effect. You can have like the, the driver in a smaller window and the bigger one will be the actual view. I've been talking about the nice things about this camera and there are a few things I don't like about it. Uh, one of them is this little mounting screw. Um, as you're driving, let's say, let's say you forgot to remove it after you take off your camera. 
You know, it sometimes it happens, you know, you shoot and you might be a little tired and you just forget it there. And this little mountain screw will rattle like crazy, especially in the Mustang. It's a, it's a kind of a stiff car. The, the stock suspension are relatively stiff. So, you know, going over little bumps, little road imp imperfection, it will, you know, rattle this part. And of course, while driving, you can't really take this off. You have to stop and, you know, take this off. And also the second part, let's say if you put the rubber guard um, you know, taking off the camera isn't like the fastest task, you know, you have to like move this, you know, it doesn't move easily, you have to, you know, push it a certain way, if it's like a angled a different way, it's not going to move because it's rubber, it's gripping to the metal, and, you know, and then also the screw is all the way inside, uh, it's not like super fast, it doesn't have some kind of like a, you know, a hook to take off camera on and off really easily. But these are some just minor issues and this mount is near perfect. I would highly recommend it to anyone who wants to do in-car videos. It really provides like a different perspective, you know, you can use it very creatively. And I'm really happy that I got this. So, yeah, uh, let me know if you have any questions about this mount. I really enjoy using it. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with it. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed a review video like this. And yeah, thank you for watching.